Hello and Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Faizah Bhatti Kamarudi. My matrix number is BN19110175. I am HS04 student and my part in this slide is frequent of meals. Assalamualaikum. My name is Sarah Aisha Binti Kurun Hizar. I am from HS04. And today, um, me along with my group members, we will be presenting about the food habits among medical students in Malaysia and Saudi Arabia. Hello and Assalamualaikum to Dr. Fazil. My name is Fatin Nurain Binti Stefanas. My metric number is BN19110079. I am from HS04. This is our presentation flow. We will start with introduction. Next, we will do literature review. Last one is discussion. On this topic, we found two articles that related to it. The title for the first article is Social and Psychological Factors Affecting Eating Habits Among University Students in a Malaysian Medical School and the second article is about eating habits among medical students at King Abdul Aziz University, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Introduction Introduction Frequency of Meals First, we have regular meals. Regular meals consist of breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack. The second one is frequency of having breakfast. Why breakfast? Because breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Medical students having limited time to have a proper breakfast because they usually have very morning class on 8 a.m. Breakfast help to give mental aid, will improve focus and attention. The third one is frequency of having snacks. Late night snack is synonym for university students. It is cheap and readily available everywhere, and uh, it hardly to be spoiled and can be kept for a very long time. Snack also easy alternative to fill stomach during midnight because a uh, medical student or any student will have assignment and they will stay up until two to three a.m. in the morning. The first one is weekly consumption of vegetables. Re vegetable consumption is mainly to improve health outcome, such as reduce the chances to get food-related non-communicable diseases and help reduce obesity. Fifth one, we have weekly consumption of fruits. There is evidence demonstrate that the intake of fruits tends to be higher due to their sweet taste soft texture, and easier manner of eating which is fruit can be eaten raw. Fruits and vegetables is frequently consumed together. Both of them can lead to healthier diet and lifestyle. The last one if we have weekly consumption of fried foods. Fried foods easily can be obtained everywhere like at cafe and food stalls. In Malaysia, students love to have uh, fried rice and fried meat during their lunch and dinner. Meanwhile, in the evening, they usually buy fried food like pisang goreng, kropoliko, and many variety more. Next is the food habits among medical university students in both of these countries. So the, the common unhealthy eating patterns that um, these university students usually practice are meal skipping, eating away from home, snacking, and also fast food consumption. And usually these um, unhealthy eating patterns are based on the food choices that they make, which are the cost of food, uh, the availability of food, their emotional eating, and also knowledge of uh, healthy food choices. And these unhealthy eating habits are usually because of some environmental factors which are the mushrooming of shopping malls, convenience stores that are available, and vending machines that are cheap and easy to access, and also uh, fast food outlets that are also reasonable at price and very less time consuming. Moving on to the next slide, I will talk about the study settings and sample population. 
This cross-sectional study was conducted on University at Malaysia and Saudi Arabia. For the first articles, it tells that the study was conducted at a private university in Malaysia with participation of 132 medical students. The age of the students are in the range of 18 to 22 years old. The majority of the respondents are female, which is 93, while for male respondents are 39 in total. For the second article, the study was carried at Faculty of Medicine, King Abdul Aziz University, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Total of medical students that involved in the study are 378. The age of the participants are 19 to 26 years old. From the 378 total of the students, 192 are females and 186 are male. Literature Review First, we have frequency of food intakes for medical students in Malaysia. There are 132 students that participate in these articles. For regular meals, 76 students say yes for regular meals and 56 students say no for regular meals. For daily breakfast, 58 students say yes and 74 students say no. The characteristic for others is frequency of daily meals. 79 students having less than 3 times daily meals, while 53 students having 3 or more times for daily meals. For frequency and having snakes, 76 students having less than 3 times and 56 students having 3 or more times. For weekly consumption of vegetable and legumes, 24 students having less than 3 times, which is good, and 108 students having three or more times for uh, vegetable and legumes. For weekly consumption of fruits, 68 students taking less than three times of fruits and the other 64 students uh, take three or more times uh, of fruits per week. Weekly consumption of fried foods, uh, 35 students take less than three times and 97 students take three or more times. We're moving on to the next slide, which is frequency of food intake for medical students in Saudi Arabia. This is the chart for regular meals, which is from 378 respondents, 191 people having irregular meals, and another 187 people are not having regular meal. This is the frequency, uh, the frequency of food intake for medical students in Saudi Arabia. The first characteristic is frequency of having daily breakfast, which is 78 students having 1 until 2 times per week, 99, 3 until 4 times, and 131 having a daily breakfast, and 70 students rarely having daily breakfast. The frequency of having snake is 91. 1 until 2 times, 1 to 8, 3 until 4 times, 100 daily, and 97 ready. The weekly consumption of vegetables, we can see that uh, the highest number is students that take 1 until 2 times per week, and the lowest student is really uh, having consumption of vegetables. The fourth one is weekly consumption of fruits. The higher number is 155, which is students that having one until two times weekly consumption of fruit per week, and the lowest is daily uh, consumption of fruits. The last one is weekly consumption of fried foods. The highest number is three until four times per week, and the lowest time is daily having consumption of fried foods. The next literature review that I will be explaining is about the healthy and non-healthy uh, food intake among medical students in Malaysia. So, based on the article that we have reviewed, um, there are about 79 uh, students out of 132 uh, students that take less than 2 liters per day for their water intake. And um, about 53 uh, other medical students take more or equal than 2 liters per day. Um, and next is the 
fast food consumption. Uh, these medical students, uh, uh, majority, about 104 uh, respondents, they rarely um, consume on fast food. And about 28 uh, respondents often uh, take uh, fast food as their meal of choice. And the next one is um, the type of food uh, consumed, um, mainly meat food. There are um, 25 respondents and food that are mainly vegetables, only 7 respondents. Food with carbohydrates such as rice and bread. Uh, about 20 respondents usually consume them. And a variety of food imbalance, there are 80 respondents in total that consume these food. Furthermore, um, the healthy and non-healthy food intake among medical students in Saudi Arabia. Um, in the article has stated that uh, about 101 respondents out of 378, they consume less than one liter per day. And 156, which is the, uh, the highest uh, value, for the respondents, they usually drink about 1 to 1.5 liter per day. And 83 respondents usually drink 1.5 to 2 liters per day. And the lowest is um, 38 respondents um, drinking less than 2 liters per day. And here is the um, results for the fast food consumption uh, among the medical students in Saudi Arabia. Um, there are 23 respondents who have never um, consumed fast food. Mm, there and 106 uh, respondents, medic these medical students often consume fa fast food and about 249 medical students uh, sometimes consume fast food in Saudi Arabia. And mm -hmm. next is the type of food uh, most often ordered by these medical students. First of all is pasta and french fries. So about um, seven of them usually order pasta and french fries and uh, for carbohydrates such as rice and bread about 48 uh, students usually order and eat them and um, chicken only one person from the respondents usually order and as well as fatty food such and ketogenic diet, only one person usually consume these this food. And uh, 144 respondents, which is the highest uh, value for respondents, they predominantly uh, order meat. And about 14 respondents. Uh, consume predominantly vegetables and another 163 medical students, they usually order a variety of food. Okay, uh, this slide is um, for the information about the food type that medical students in Saudi Arabia usually take. Uh, as you can see here, only 1% eats all type of food. Only 1% eat all types but not fried food. 
and also only one respondent um, takes balanced nutrition that contains carbs, proteins, and fat. 21 of them uh, eat rice and bread, and only one uh, cover requirements from macros. And also, only one has the daily needs of carbs, proteins, and fat. And only one usually consumes food. 27 of these respondents usually uh, and mainly eat meat. And 121 mainly consume vegetables. And the highest number of respondents with 203 respondents uh, usually eat a variety of food. As we know, living in the university is not same like home as the environment is different. As a medical student, they might suffer stress due to lots of assignments and exams. Hence, the students were given some questions related to the psychological factor that could affect their eating habit. So, there are six questions given to the students such as Eat because lonely, out of control, eat until stomach hurt, eat because upset or nervous, eat because of bored or feeling happy. In Malaysia, the majority of the students choose eat because of feeling happy with 106 of students or equal to 80.3% answered yes. Following with the other questions, average number of students choose yes. In Saudi Arabia, they were given three choices to answer which are never, often, and sometimes. If we look into details in each column, high number of students answered never for question eat when feeling lonely, which is 171. Next, in often column, high number of students choose eat because of bored. While for the next column, which is student answered sometimes, majority of them will choose it because of feeling happy. To summarize the table, there are many respondents who answered never for question it because of lonely, while a lot of respondents agreed that they eat because of feeling happy. I believe that we don't always eat just to satisfy our physical hunger, but sometimes we eat food for comfort, stress relief, or to reward ourselves. Moving on to the last content, which is discussion. First, we will discuss about regular meals between medical students in Malaysia and medical students in Saudi Arabia. We can see that students that taking regular meals is higher than students that not taking regular meals for Malaysia. But in Saudi Arabia, the amount is almost equal because we can see the bar chart is only the difference between uh, less than 10 people. Other than that, this is the frequency of having breakfast. We can see that Malaysian students, uh, most of them did not take breakfast. And in Saudi Arabia, most of them taking breakfast. The last one is comparison of frequency of meals among medical students in Malaysia and Saudi Arabia based on percentage of less than three times. This is the percentage less than three times, which is in Malaysia. The frequency of having snake is 30.6 and the frequency of having snake is 19.5%. Uh, Malaysia have uh, more students that not taking uh, snake. And the second one is uh, weekly consumption of vegetables. We can see that Saudi Arabia has highest number than uh, Malaysia which is uh, Malaysia the third one is weekly consumption of fruits uh, Malaysia students has highest number of not taking or less than three times of fruits than our uh, Saudi Arabia students and the last one is weekly cons weekly consumption of fried foods is uh, Saudi Arabia has highest number of not taking or less than three times fried foods compared to Malaysia students. Next, moving on to the next slide is the comparison of healthy and non-healthy food intake among these medical students in both of these countries. 
So the first comparison that I have made is the water intake between the medical students in Malaysia and Saudi Arabia. As we can see here, um, the number of respondents that consume more or equals to mm -hmm. two liters per day is higher in Malaysia compared to in Saudi Arabia, which is about 40.2%, and in Saudi Arabia, only 32.1%. And uh, the percentage of uh, the respondents that consume less than 2 liters per day is higher in Saudi Arabia compared to Malaysia, which is 67.9%. Uh, and in Malaysia, only 59.8%. Next is the comparison of fast food consumption between these two countries. As we can see here, um, the percent, the number of respondents that sometimes uh, take fast food is higher in Arab, which is about 250 respondents, compared to um, in Malaysia, which is about 103 that consume uh, fast food. And for respondents that often uh, take fast food consumption, is also higher in Saudi Arabia, which is uh, about 103 respondents compared to in Malaysia, which is about 26 respondents. Next is the comparison of the type of food consumed between these two countries. Uh, so the consumption of uh, mainly meat is higher in Saudi Arabia which is about three hundred about thirty eight point one percent compared to in Malaysia which is uh, only eighteen point nine percent and the consumption of uh, carbohydrate is higher in Malaysia which is fifteen point two percent compared to in Saudi Arabia which is 12.7% and also the consumption of variety of food is also higher in Malaysia which is 60.6% .6 compared to in Saudi Arabia which is 43.1% but uh, about 1.9% of medical students consume pasta and french fries in Saudi Arabia. That is all for me. Thank you. The comparison between eating behavior of medical students in both countries based on psychological. The percentage shown here based on total of students who answered yes in Malaysia often and sometimes in Saudi Arabia. As we can see, in both countries, the highest percentage among students will eat because of feeling happy. The second highest of percentage in Malaysia is overeat, while for Saudi Arabia is they eat because of feeling bored. The lowest percentage is eat because of lonely. Only 13.6% of medical students in Malaysia and 14% of medical students in Saudi Arabia agreed with that question. It shows that the eating habits for majority of the students does not affect by loneliness, but it is affect when they are feeling happy. It may be because of the students might reward themselves by eating as when they are feeling happy, most of them will eat. That's all for our presentation. Thank you.